2013 promises to be a busy year for new commercial aircraft developments, with first flights of new Airbus and Boeing widebodies, Bombardier C-Series, and the likely launch of Embraer's G2 family. First flight of the A350, widely anticipated around mid-year, will mark a high point for Airbus and its strategy to attack Boeing 787 and 777 market with a single product family. The A350 marks the debut of Airbus's first airliner made primarily from composite materials. Airbus is also preparing for the re-engined A320neo, which enters service in late 2015. Engine work to support the program is ramping up, with Pratt & Whitney starting ground runs of the PW1100G geared turbofan for the NEO in late November, and CFM scheduled to start up the first Leap 1A engine in September 2013. Boeing is equally busy, with first flight of the Stretch 7879 also expected around the middle of the year. Assembly of the 7879, which will be 20 foot longer than the 8, begins early in 2013, with initial delivery to Air New Zealand in 2014. Beyond the 9, Boeing is also studying a second stretch 787 derivative, the 10X, as well as a re-engined, re-winged 777 variant, the 777X. Formal launch of the 10X variant is also anticipated in 2013, with a decision on the 777X not expected until later. Boeing's other big commercial program, the re-engine 737 MAX, is also running at a fast pace, with design freeze expected in 2013. The first 737 MAX is set to be delivered to Southwest Airlines in the third quarter of 2017. Bombardier's long-delayed C-Series is also due to make its first flight in 2013, while Embraer's G2 derivative Evolution of the current E-Jet family is also expected to get the go-ahead later this year. In China, Comac is also set to begin assembly of the initial C919 airliner, 